Water's good for you. Drink more of it. Okay, uh, unit four. This is about the Weimar, Weimar Republic and in the Great Depression and all that stuff. Okay, number one, how was Germany affected from this time period? Germany was totally blamed for absolutely everything, and they were very upset by this. Um, they're going to have a really bad economy because they can't pay back their stuff. Um, they're going to lose a bunch of land, which is going to be really problematic. Um, and it's just going to kind of stink to be German at this time period. Germany is destroyed um, really dramatically. Okay? It's really, really bad for Germany. They have like lost their industrial part. They've lost their military. They've lost a ton of land. And they're paying everyone a ton of money. Um, so they're really not very happy. Um, given the Great Depression, what you want to know in the Great Depression is the 1920s were really good in the United States of America. A lot of new inventions. People are wanting to go buy these new inventions. We're going to have the growth of credit, which is when you say, I can't pay for this now, so I'm going to take out a loan. I'm going to buy this on credit. I'll pay you back later with a little bit of interest just to make up for um, that amount of money. So this is going to be happening. Now people can't pay stuff back anymore. The banks that lended that money are now not getting their money back. People go to get their money out of the bank, so they're like, Sorry, we're out of money. And everyone is going to suffer and starve from this point forward. Okay, so basically know what caused the Great Depression. Um, banks over lending, banks running out of money. You know what a bank run is when you go to the money or to the bank, everyone pulls out the money and now the bank has no more money left. So anyone who hasn't taken out their cash yet is simply out of luck. Um, talk about that. Okay, the Weimar Republic right through here. I should say Weimar Republic. Weimar Republic, if you're speaking German. Um, so what this is, is where you're going to have the capital move from Berlin. This comes from the Ed Puzzle. I've linked that video on the YouTube playlist as well. So um, is what it is. Okay, you have the capital move from the city of Berlin because Berlin's dangerous at this time. Moving from Berlin, going to Weimar. Um, they're going to go to this city. They're going to form their own government. The problem is this government really cannot reform anything quickly. Also, in order to pay the war reparations, they're simply going to print off more money, um, which causes your money to be valueless. It's going to cause German hyperinflation that is going to be very problematic. Someone apparently likes me, so thank you for that one. Uh, what would you like me to cover again? Three. I don't know what you mean by three. I cannot help you. I am sorry. It's a good number. It's my favorite number. Random fact. Good. Uh, easiest, but a bit review would be good to nice everything. Okay, good. I hope this helps you out right through there. Um, this was the last day of school. Thank you for the nice year, sir. Thank you for the nice year, good sir or madame. Uh, nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, anything right through here. Hitler uses the um, problems going on in Germany to seize power. So the Nazis. How do the Nazis use the problems in Germany to seize power? That's super important. You really, really, really need to know that. So what they're going to do is they're going to come in and say that, hey, this Treaty of Versailles that so many of you Germans hate, we hate it too. We're not going to follow this Treaty of Versailles anymore. Uh, number two, this German land that was given away, we're going to take it back. You say we can't have a military in the Treaty of Versailles? Guess what? We're going to have a Treaty of Versailles military. You're tired with foreigners coming into our country and telling us Germans how to live? Guess what? We're tired of it too. We're going to kick them out and give foreigners no more rights in Germany. They're going to use this. Okay? And people want to hear this. They like this. Hitler is an eloquent speaker. People uh, like to listen to him speak. He can draw in a crowd when he speaks. So they're going to come and follow him as a result of this. He's going to basically outlight every other political party using Article 48, declaring a national emergency. Um, that's not even defined, but people are going to take this. He's going to come to power, and it's going to be um, really bad for a lot of people living in there. But he does manage to make Germany an incredibly powerful country in a very short amount of time. As uh, so Hitler, right about there, okay, that's what you need to know on that, going to lead to World War II. Also, we will talk about the League of Nations, the problems with the League of Nations that had no ability to enforce anything because they had a unanimous decision. Um, they had no military, and these took a long time to actually come to a good decision on anything. And the most powerful country in the world, the United States of America is not going to be joining. That is all for Unit 4. Therefore, now you've got quick review videos on 1, 2, 3, and 4. Not in the camera. There we go. Those four right through there. Questions, comments, you need to get them to me ASAP. Um, good luck. You're going to do fine on this. If anything is not being covered on here, let me know. Um, but seriously, take a deep breath. Relax. If you paid attention this year, done the assignments I did, watched all my videos up here on the wonderful thing called YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Please pay me, YouTube. Um, you're going to be okay. Good luck. You got this. Goodbye.